everybody this is Michael with the Mechatronics channel today I'm going to be doing a two-part video series on creating an add-on instruction in studio 5000 and then I'm going to be using uh, studio 5000 view designer which is their new HMI software to create an app uh, an add-on graphic and then I will link them together um, and this will just kind of show the power of creating add-on graphics how how easy they are, how quick they are to implement, and how useful they can be, especially if you're uh, using uh, a graphic over and over and over again. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an add-on instruction. And uh, for example purposes, this is going to be an add-on instruction that is a uh, uh, basically going to be a stopwatch. So the idea is is that you press the start button and it will count seconds, minutes, hours. Uh, there will be a pause button um, so that you can pause it whenever you want and then there will be a uh, reset function. So uh, the first thing we need to do is create the add-on instruction. So to do that you're going to come over to assets, add-on instruction, and do new add-on instruction. And I'm going to name this stopwatch. Uh, hit OK. You can, you can decide, you can choose if you want it to be ladder, function block, or structured text. I'm going to stick with ladder. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And then this is going to be the logic that lives inside the add-on inst instruction itself. So, the first thing I'm going to do is create a uh, is create some start logic. So on this rung, I'm going to put a start PB, which is going to be a parameter. Um, Add-on instructions can have input parameters, output parameters, local tags, and in-out parameters. Uh, this is going to be taking a, a value from outside of the add-on instruction and putting it inside the in the add-on instruction so it's going to be an input parameter. Um, we're not going to require this so it's not going to need a tag but we are going to make it visible so that you can see it on the add-on instruction. So we're going to do that and then at the end of this rung we'll put an OTE and we'll call it timing. And this is just going to be a local tag and then we'll put a ceiling around it And we will put another, we'll make another input parameter called pause PB. New parameter, input parameter, we're also going to make it visible but not require a tag to be populated. And hit OK. So, come down to the next rung and we'll use this time, timing uh bit to start a retentive timer and we'll name it seconds timer and it's just going to be a local tag with a preset of a thousand so uh, the idea behind this is that uh, a thousand counts of a timer in studio 5000 will equal one second so this is these are uh, millisecond timers <laughs> Um, and then we'll come down to the next rung, uh, do, use the done bit to trigger a counter. Count up and we'll name this seconds CT and we'll make this a local tag as well and we'll make the preset 60. So 60 seconds equals a minute, and we'll also, on this rung, when it's done, we will reset this seconds timer. So this, when we press the start button, this time, timing bit will come on, uh, this timer will start running. As soon as it's done, it will count up on the, on the seconds counter and then it will reset itself and start counting again. So we come down here to the next rung 
and we'll do something pretty similar. When this seconds count dot dn goes high, we will put another counter in there, and this will be minutes ct. And that will be a local tag. And we will also, we'll do the same thing. We will put a reset bit down here. And this preset will also be 60, so 60 minutes in an hour. Or sorry, 60 seconds in a minute. And then we're going to do the same thing again. When this completes, we'll have it increment a counter. Whoops. And we'll name it hours count. Make that a new local tag, and we'll make this 60. So 60 minutes in an hour. And when the minutes counter completes, we will reset that. So when the seconds timer goes done uh, or completes, we'll count up on our seconds counter. When that completes, we'll count up on our minutes. Sorry, this should actually be resetting our seconds count, not our minutes count. Seconds count. When minutes goes high, it will increment our hours counter and reset our minutes and that's basically it so we're not going to reset the uh, the hours um, so then um, we also need to need a way to get these uh, these counter values outside of the add-on instruction so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to use three move instructions and so you don't have to do it this way, but I just prefer it to make it look kind of clean. Uh, move and another move. And I'm going to put seconds count dot dot ACC minutes count dot ACC so these are the accumulator values and hours count dot ACC and I'm going to move that into a tag that's just called seconds which will be uh, a tag called minutes and a tag called hours and I really sh and these will all be parameters and these are going to be not input parameters, but output parameters. And we will also just make them visible. So all three of these are going to be output parameters and visible and dense. Okay, there we go. Now, we also need to uh, have a button that will reset all of these values. So we're going to name it reset PB. B. And we're going to name, or we're going to make it a parameter, an input parameter, and we're going to make it visible. And then we'll put in uh, four resets. We're going to uh, reset seconds timer. We're going to reset seconds count. We're going to reset minutes count. And we're going to reset hours count. 
So everything is happy on that rung. File save. And I think this logic looks pretty good. So in the next uh, video, I will actually download this to a controller and make sure it works. And then I will start making the uh, add-on graphic.